It's Road CC behind the scenes at the Tour de France, and I'm here with Nick Sims from Specialized, and he's going to talk us through and about a very special bike. Nick. Well, yeah, I mean, what you've got here is Fabian's bike from Roubaix, um, the Project Black, which for us is how we work with our athletes to develop product. We've had a great relationship in the past working with athletes from from Boonen and to more recently with Fabian when we've worked with them they tend to win so we did the, the Roubaix here that you see and it went out and won and what's new on the Roubaix this year is we increased the head tube area made it a lot bulkier with our Cobra head tube shaping the the zerts changed and increased the vertical compliance but also increased the stiffness and brought the weight down so all in all, this is a bike that smoothes faster. You know, they want a bike where they can put the power down when you've got 1,400 watts like Cangellara can. Put that down, but don't want to get beaten up over the cobbles too. And uh, you say the new Cobra head shape. What's new about the head shape? Uh, you've gone for the sort of asymmetric, um, narrow at the top, wider at the bottom for stiffness. Well, I think the big, the big thing, you know, is it's a tapered steerer like we have on, the, on Tarmacs and everything, but it's an uh, inch and an eighth, inch and three eighths. But if you look down the top of the bike, you'll see how big the tube shapes are. They don't, they don't go flat with the head tube. They bulge out at the top and they bulge out at the bottom. And that increases the whole front end stiffness to give them really good steering precision. Bottom bracket, basically the lower half of this bike is taken from like the SL3. So we knew with the SL3 that it had great stiffness, great torsional stiffness for power delivery. So we've kind of given this bike the best of both we've given it the great vertical compliance and smooth ride of the Roubaix but increased the stiffness for sprinting and everything that we knew was a winning combination on the SL3 so we combine the two and that's what you got and the Zerts inserts you say they've changed um, I mean they look how much is inside that stay as it were? it's a it's this year's ones it's a pocket um, where they're actually bolted through um, and what that does is actually, as the v- damping, as the vibrations go through the tube, clamping it together, it's a bit like somebody grabbing like a tuning fork and it just stops the vibration. So before they used to go all the way through, this year they're clamped in really, really tight so there's no movement and it, it, it just takes out just the, the frequency. And of course that's going to be very important on the, on the cobbles. Well, for sure, yeah, we'll see on the day. Um, but we come here with, with tools for the job, you know, they've got got the shiv for the time trials they've got the sl3s for most of the stages and the sprints and then we brought the roubaix for the for the cobbles and uh, what's it what, what's going to be interesting for for us as viewers and for people probably who who own specialized is that specialized are different in that you've got more than one team here in fact you've got two very competitive teams uh riding essentially the same equipment well almost exactly the same equipment what's the difference in their approach say between somebody like cancellara and contador um, you're right. I mean, the, the Tour is one race that we've never won. We've won a lot of other things which everyone will be happy with, but we want the Tour. Um, but the way teams teams work is very different. Saxo Bank is very detailed orientated. We've done all our BG fit with them the last two years. They look at every little aspect that can hopefully get them to the line at the front. With Astana, uh, it's still we're still working with them. They're still new, but again, they're detail orientated, especially for for Contador, the favourites. You know, they want the advantage, so we try not to show any favouritism. You know, they have the same bikes that, that we give these guys. And uh, yeah, so he's got the same. He's going to be riding uh, a Roubaix SL3 uh, on stage three two. Correct. Right. Yeah. And so this is a, a new bike. Uh, when will we be seeing it in the shops? They should be in the shops, I think, around uh, autumn time. I think September, October time okay, is so when they're, they're shipping pretty soon. Is when they're due in, yeah. Okay, and any idea on... I don't suppose you have any idea on UK <laughs> price. That's a bit unfair. But. Yeah, no, I'm not sure what the prices are going to be. Um, I mean, there's going to be the S-Works, obviously, as the frame set, which is obviously the, mm-hmm. the high end, and then there's the pros and things like that. And a lot of the... The stuff that you see here trickles down now next year to sort of expert levels and things like that. So When we can, uh, we have a great relationship with SRAM and when we get the opportunities, we, we tend to go with, with companies who know that if we want something to do something special, we need a different colour or something custom. Um, the guys from SRAM are always open to, open to have that. They're the same sort of philosophy that we are. We're here to race and we're here to win and that sort of thing. So we'll have yellow bikes ready to go in case 
first day one of our teams gets in yellow. They've got their new group set here too with the with the SRAM red with the yellow. Um, so we're all ready to go. It's action stations, you know. So and probably the other eye-catching bike uh, in the project black lineup that you've got here is the the uh, Shiv time trial bike. Um, we were looking at um, Fabian's earlier on. It's a very interesting bike. It's got some very interesting equipment choices. I particularly love that aero special badge he's got stuck in his top tube. Um, and you were saying that, again, there's a difference between, you know, the, probably the two biggest contenders of the time trial are Cancellara and Contador, and they were one and two last year, weren't they, in the prologue, I think. Mm. Um, but, again, they've got very, they're going to be on the same bike this year, but they're taking it in different ways, different approaches. Yeah, they're, they're very different. Um, Cancellara, big motor, a lot of power, just stays in that tuck position. Contador, on the other hand, stays aero, but it gets out of the saddle a lot more. It kind of sprints to keep the speed and then gets back into the, the aerodynamic mm-hmm. position. So for him, bar position is slightly different. His frame is a little smaller. If you see, he has a, he doesn't have the flat top tube that the rest of the shivs do. His kind of tapers up towards the the stem area um chris deluzio over there who heads up our sort of design and engineering side of things made a couple of custom stems that we brought over yesterday Mm -hmm. to give him a little front the front end of his bike a little higher that puts the flat section of his bars closer to the position on his road bike so when he is up standing up it feels similar to being in the drop in the in the drop bar fantastic so, and one last question, and you may or may not want to answer this. How does that, with the UCI's uh, new interpretation of their rules about prototyping, etc., how does that work then with, a, if you're, say, he's got a top tube that goes up, are you going to be able to buy a shiv with two different types of top tube? Or Not right now. The production shiv, actually, this is the one time when customers get a faster bike than Fabian. You may not be faster than Fabian, but his bike... You know, the ones that we sell now has the nose cone on it that was debuted last year. Wind tunnel testing on that, it's the fastest bike out there. So, you know, we we had uh, stuff with UCI at the beginning of the year. We came out at the the Giro and the Tour of California with the, sh- the latest edition of the shift that you see here with the stem elimination of the nose cone and a slight change on the down tube. Um, so we're all okay with the UCI right now. But the production bike will stay the same as the bike that we sold last year. So the faster bike you or I can have. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good news. Thanks very much, Nick. Really appreciate that. Cheers. Thanks.